So I'm going to show you with this horse what I'm talking about to make sure the horse is comfortable with the um, mounting block. So when the horse really doesn't like the mounting block or they keep moving away from it, I just try to make it part of their daily routine. But first, we also want to make sure the horse is okay with you being on that height. And so what I'm going to do is get on the mounting block and just have him go around me. And I'm keep, going to keep moving him and then I'm going to rest him. But the only place he gets to rest is right next to me. Because what you're trying to create that to the horse is that the mounting block is a good place to be. At the mounting block, you get rest or you get treats or you get scratches. Remember, they don't have fingers, so they love scratches. Okay, so I'm going to show you. I This horse has had two years off, so maybe he will move around. Maybe he won't. We'll see. That's okay, you just start lunging, lunging him again and then give him the option to stand or be strong. Okay, now we'll show you some other stuff with the mounting block. So you're just trying to make the mounting block be like everything else is, stuff they see every day. So now I'm going to take off his equipment and stuff, but I'm going to do it from standing on the mounting block. So even if 
take his bridle off, I'm going to do it. some kind of box thing, a mounting block or something close to it. Huh? So he just gets used to you moving around up here and not always getting on. But they have to be tied up. Do not have them loose. If they're moving around a lot, again, you could try tying them up and putting something over there to block them. And that's not forever, that's just to guide them so they understand they're not supposed to move. Because remember, everybody's different and he might have made the association that when they get up on that box, he's supposed to move away and do that little game with them. Horses make lots of associations that people don't know they're doing. You just make an association that when I'm on this box, you just stand there. But you start doing this every day. Even when you don't have time, you just go out for five minutes, tie that horse up, don't you have them loose. You'll see I fed them rain if they're really nervous or bad. So you can put a bucket of rain up there. You can put their hay bags, just anything. So they're associating it with something good. But if they can't even do that, then they're not ready for you to be on the mounting block doing it because they're not comfortable with it. Then once they get used to it, you do things like this, you know. Oh. If he has a scratchy spot, you know, which is usually around here, around their wither, get up there and do that. He won't be doing that once the saddle's there, but he'll make that association that when you stand up on that block, you make them feel good. Now I wouldn't pick their feet because you'll fall off. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty good. So now I'm going to show you some stuff with the side length up and hopefully he'll make some mistakes so you can see. Okay, so you want a long whip when you do this or if the horse is being bad, don't have a short stick because they know exactly how far you can reach them. So he doesn't know how to do it. So you don't want to start with the mounting block. You want to start on the ground. It's like, what the hell happened to my fancy life, right? makes the step 
Yeah, now watch your feet so they don't step on them. Now he moved away, so now block him with the right hand. Now he's confused. Now I tap. Watch your feet. Oh boy. Now see how he's smothering me? This is a little false, but I'm trying to get him to understand. Some horses, once they figure it out, then they go over the top of the mounting block, so you gotta be careful. Good job, buddy. So when you walk away, don't turn them that way, turn them the other way. If I was to turn left, it would have brought his butt away from me. And then the horse might make the association in his mind that this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to turn towards him. And then we walk that, that way. So they anticipate. So he goes, I turn this way. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to walk away. So sometimes it's just that association. The horse is trying to be good. And he thinks he's supposed to turn away. And that's why he keeps moving away from you. So now I'm going to do it with the mounting block. Still use the wall. So you put the mounting block by the wall. Good job, buddy. Right? Like, what the hell? That's work. Good job. Now I'm going to scratch. Now, when I'm up here, I, don't, I want them close enough I can get on. But not so close, they're coming over the top of the mounting block. Because then they try to be better. They're like, well, he like that. I'll do it more. And then they go right over the top of it. Stand on it, trip on it, fall over it. Okay, so that was pretty good, right? So I'm going to try it again because he just learned this. So I don't think he has it down yet. So walk that way. him when he's not moving. If he's moving, you're not done tapping him with your stick. Okay. So now he does this pretty good. Normally with a horse, I would do this, I don't know, a week or two to make sure. Mares can do it in a day. <laughs> the third girl. Okay, but now I'm going to take my little mounting block and get away from this area so you can see what I do with my hand if he starts going forward. Walk the other way. Now I'm going to get my mounting block. And I'm going to move it just a little bit away. So if I have a problem, I can go back up to the wall. You're trying to set yourself up for success. Not fall over. Alright, what do you think? So I'm going to pull him up and then I'm going to block him so he can't go any further with his head. Blocking with my hand. You'll see he's over the mounting block. Good job! So don't stop until they do it right. I had to push his head and hold him. But this is his first time, so now he figured it out. So I'm not trying to get on. You don't want to do that until you're really sure they can do this well and they just stand here. Now we walk the other way. And I like mine just to line themselves up, so once they know this, I just get on the thing. I don't even line them up. So blocking with my left hand. That's okay. So he took a step, so I'm pausing, but I still want him over a little more. Oh boy. Good job. Good job. Okay, now we just stand here and scratch. Now, once they can do that well, I move this farther away. Always walk off that way. This is 
that building though. Now again, now he could walk all the way around me if he wanted to, so I gotta be good about blocking him. I'm in here. Okay. I couldn't tell if I was in the video. Okay, so I'm gonna pull him up. Now I'm gonna block. Oh. I'm gonna block. Now he took one step with his front foot towards me. Again, he just learned this today, so that's hard. So I'm not gonna try to get on, he's all crooked. I'm scratching him, I'm gonna ask him again. So that's telling him, yeah, that's the right thing, dude. Oh boy. Now he took another step just with his front feet, but that's okay. And I would never rush this fast, but I'm doing it so you can see the mistakes he makes because he doesn't know what he's doing. And tomorrow I would expect I would have to do that all over again. One step over, just the front feet, but you gotta reward him for trying because it was the right direction. But you really gotta pull hard on this, so it's good to have a halter on. Good job. So there he took a step over with his whole body and his back end. Now I'm still gonna try to get him one step closer, but again, they don't speak English, so they have no idea. So your timing really has to be good. That's okay because he tried. He's over the top of the mounting block, but at least that was the right direction. Okay. Now I'm gonna walk off this way. Okay. And I don't ever tap unless they uh, need it. Okay, I wouldn't use this jump thing. It's not that stable. So I just pointed. I'm not going to hit him. You got to give him time to think. If he tries to do the right thing and then you hit him right at that moment, he'll think he did the wrong thing. So give him a couple seconds, then ask. Or, you know, hold your arm up. Give him a couple seconds. If he doesn't move over, start wiggling. And if that doesn't work, then start tapping. Good job. So I gotta block him at the same time. Now he's pretty close. I could probably get on. And last time he went over the mounting block, so I'm like, yeah, that's good enough. I don't want to teach him to come over it. Good job. So then I'm gonna do it again. But it works. Okay, so I'm gonna get up first. I'm gonna pull him off. Oh. What do you know? I don't have to sidle up at all because now I'm right here. Okay? Now I just lean over and scratch him. He's tired. I already worked him, and I can just tell he's not going to go anywhere. But I wouldn't tell you to jump on him without holding on. Good job. Okay. So for the first day, that was great. That's all we're going to do. So we associate coming to the mounting block with a good thing, and I might jump on him a little bit. But that's okay. Now I'm going to go graze him as a reward. So he associates me doing this with something good afterwards, and I'm probably going to do it for. 10 minutes at least. Okay, so again, that's why I wanted to see you sidle up. If you send me a video, I'll catch things that you might not be catching and I can point out what you're doing wrong. But just in, I would say less than 20 minutes, 
I got a horse that didn't go up to the mounting block like that to do it, okay? And I think your horse is smart. I don't think he's bad from what I saw in that video. I think he's just made the wrong associations. So we have to correct that.